In this video, I discuss how to press the double action trigger on a modern polymer frame, striker fired, drop safe, semi automatic handgun. Thanks for watching. I want to get right where the squirrels in your trigger finger come together, is about right where I want to center my finger on the trigger face on that shoe. And I want to keep my trigger finger off the frame because I'm trying to isolate my trigger finger from everything else that I'm doing in my grip. I want this to move independently and freely. And there's really two stages to these triggers on striker fire guns. You got this first stage called the take up and we hit what we call the wall where it gets noticeably harder to pull back. So this first part here we can do as fast as we want. But this next part where we hit the wall, I want to come back nice and smooth. Steady pressure straight to the rear as I focus on maintaining stability with my front sight. I don't want to disturb that front sight. Once I got that sight on target or in my target zone, I want to make sure I don't disturb it. I want to keep it locked in. So from here, I want to come steady back. Nice steady pressure. Many new shooters will pull the trigger so fast and you can see what happens to this front sight or to the front end of the gun. They pull the trigger fast, they're jerking the, the front sight off target and the shots are not going where they want them to go. So I want to come back nice, steady, pressure straight to the rear. And that is the trigger press on a modern striker fired handgun. And that's all I got. Remember, be safe, stay dangerous, and keep your force justified.